So for today, we're going to be looking at the Mass Effect Collaboration Armor Set. If you guys don't know, it's currently on sale right now for $20 each, which is wild. But we're going to be looking at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and overall, like, just thoughts that I have about the armor. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, sub, uh, hit the bell notification. It really does help the channel. And if you guys don't like me later, then you can always unsubscribe and let me know what I did wrong. So I appreciate you guys. Let's just get into it. So here's the armor set. I love this armor set i am gonna be honest with you guys i'm a big mass effect fan like i've been a fan of it since fucking a game it came out for the ps3 uh, mass effect 2 specifically and yeah i started with mass effect 2 and then went back to mass effect 1 then played mass effect 2 then played mass effect 3 and shit i even played andromeda for a bit i cannot finish it because that game is trash but i have loved mass effect since the ps3 era so like i this, this series holds a special place because I've, again, like I said, I've delved into this game so many times. I love it. it. They have some of my favorite characters for the armor sets. We have Garrus for the Hunters, the Commander Shepard for the Titans, and then Liara Tassoni for the Warlocks, which I think is really cool. I know some people might think that Hunter should have gotten the N7 set. I don't really, I wouldn't say I don't think so because like, it's weird because like I for me Titans are always gonna be like the vanguard they're always gonna be like the main troops and I know some people are gonna say well N7's more like op like like um not spy but like around that area which means more hunter but I don't know man like Commander Shepard for Titans just kind of like makes sense to me uh I would be lying if I said the first thought for hunters was Garrus. I, I first thought for me for hunters was either Kasumi from Mass Effect 2 or uh, uh oh oh my god I'm forgetting my wife I literally marry her every time in the game um uh Tali was something yeah uh I think Tali would have been a good one although that being said um I understand why they chose the characters they chose specifically like all of these characters are the most like popular characters um not saying tally isn't popular but if i show you tally and if i show you like liara people will immediately be like oh well she's from mass effect she might be from mass effect too so like it's it's one of those things like these are the most like recognizable characters i should i should say so i think garris for hunters is super dope Liara, I I I like Liara as a character. Don't get me wrong, um, but I definitely would have liked another character. That being said, again, I understand why they chose Liara. That being said, I should note real quick, and I do apologize if we're not even talking about the armor yet, but I wanted to get the, those things out because I know people are going to be talking about it in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, who should have got what armor set? Definitely let me know in the comments. But uh, just to quickly note, I know there's some issues with the armor being sold specifically i have an issue i had an issue i should say that i couldn't actually buy the armor now the best thing to do would actually be to buy it from the featured uh menu not the like go bottom like at the bottom you will see it next to like the season of the wish stuff no you have to buy it from the actual featured list because for some reason it's bugged so just make sure you buy it from the first page and not the second page um, that's really it. That's the one thing I wanted to say because I had a lot of problems with that. I couldn't buy it. Was wondering why I couldn't do it. Went to work, came back, wasn't fixed yet. And then I found somewhere on, um, on Twitter that buy it from the main page. So that's, I just want to make sure you guys know that. So for the armor, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't think anyone got a bad set or any bad piece. If I'm being honest <clears throat> with the caveat of like, Hunters, we didn't get we didn't get a bad armor set. Like I think this armor set is super cool. The problem is when it comes to shadering, and you guys will notice it when I when I show you these shaders. But for the armor pieces, I really don't have any complaints. Um, I think the helmet for the hunters is super cool. I would have preferred if the cloak didn't have like a top part. I think the cloak could have would have been so much better without that. Um, I think the arms and the boots are pretty cool. That being said, they do kind of look a little generic uh i would have preferred if the boots had like some form of like design in there to showcase uh the turians like legs because they're not 
people feet or people like feet they're more like like backwards if i remember correctly if i have a picture of uh garris's like whole thing i'll just show you right now just to showcase it but i don't know i it's the arms too don't i don't know like everything but the chest piece helmet and arms or and cloak just kind of look boring in my opinion i could definitely be wrong about that but let me know what you guys think titans i'm gonna be honest yeah out of all of the helmets that they the game has i think they chose the worst one not saying this is like exactly a one-to-one -one, but it's close to one that we have in the game and i feel like they chose the worst one because it's not that great um i would have much preferred if they gave us like the the traditional like helmet that uh shepherd hats i'll have a picture of that right now as well that one would have been way better and if for people who were like oh well you bungie would have had to show the face no just make it completely like not see like visible like just have the visor i think that would have been a better helmet than what we got here um the other piece that i'm not the biggest fan of and this is not the whole thing it's just a piece of it the arms uh, I don't like the pauldrons. That's the only thing I really don't like. Um, just because they're kind of awkward when you combine it with other pieces. I think that chest piece is super dope. I think the boots are super dope. And I I really wish they gave us the option to turn off the glow for this one. And I don't mean like how I usually say where, oh, give us a button. No, like I wish that they coated this this uh, cloak or they coated the mark to where if you put a, a shader that turns off a glow, then it just turns it off completely. I would have much preferred it because it's it's a mark that just turns it into a solid, which is unfortunate because this would have been a great mark for just a belt. I I think this is a missed opportunity for sure. Warlock's helmet is super dope, very much a sari themed. If I remember correctly, they're a sari. That's their actual race called Liara's. That is. If not, I'll have the actual name right here, but I'm pretty sure it's a sari. Um, dope helmet i really really like it that being said um i probably wouldn't have done a visor i probably would have done just like not liara's face but like well i guess that doesn't matter because like they don't they don't all look alike but it would have people would have been just immediately assume like oh that's that's liara so never mind because i was gonna say you could probably just do like a stone look but the visor looks cool i'm not saying it looks bad it's just I know a lot of warlocks complain that they usually just get a helmet that has a visor on it which is completely valid because they do um i think the chest piece is super cool boots are super cool i think the arms being asymmetrical kind of bugs me a little i would have preferred if both arms had a glow but it wasn't as intense as the left side so like maybe a little bit that would have been cool and i think the bond is super dope as well i don't know if it turns off with certain shaders so let me know in the comments below but I definitely love all of these sets. I don't think anyone won or lost. I think everyone got some really good pieces. When it comes to shadering, I definitely think t the Hunters lost, which I'll show you the shading right now. So the shader we're going to be looking at is actually going to be Abyssinian Gold because this is going to be the easiest one to showcase the off colors because if you guys don't know, the off colors for Abyssinian Gold is actually black. And as you guys can see from the Hunters, everything is black, which is very unfortunate. You're going to be having a lot of trouble color coding the, the, a lot of these pieces with your main sets unless you're just using all of it, which I mean, live your life. I'm not going to tell you you're wrong, but don't ask people if they look good 
expecting like oh shit you look dope when you're wearing a full set like especially people who take fashion very seriously you're just gonna be told like you're just wearing a full set dog so i just want you to be aware and be realistic about it don't be like oh like that's uncalled for uh, not really but yeah it's very unfortunate because the, the helmet there's a there's pieces of brown in there but it's mostly black and it's pretty much for all of the set it's just off colors galore which is very unfortunate uh for the titans the shading is asymmetrical is kind of which is kind of unfortunate the helmet and the chest piece are probably the best pieces for main colors and then the boots unfortunately take off colors as well with the only main color being at the actual feet warlocks you guys won this is the best shading here everything takes the main color which is super super dope and i know some people might ask like well what what does it matter that it takes the off color like i personally think if an armor set shaders really well and it's taking the main colors of a shader then it it helps a lot because it takes a lot of the annoyance that comes with bad armor which is just usually making sure your shaders look correct even though you might not be combining all the shaders into one color because again a lot of the colors in this game do not match a one-to-one -one. so sometimes like a red is going to be a lighter red than another one and for people who are like very specific and very like anal about it like me it gets it gets very aggravating so that's why i say like i, w I really wish uh, we could choose which color goes where because then that would immediately eliminate a negative that most armor sets have or don't have which is is this going to take the off color or main color and that's a problem that i usually look at when i first look at an armor set a does it look cool okay does it shader well okay and usually like if it has glows oh which glow is this is this the, is this the off color glow or is this the main color glow because that's also a thing so yeah hunters definitely an l for us titans i think it's like 50 50 like some of it's super dope some of it is, is unfortunately an l and warlocks you guys just won because all of it shaders really well even though warlocks are probably going to tell me that the armor looks terrible and they lost even though i think the armor looks amazing so let me know what you guys think i do apologize this was a little bit longer than my usual ones but i really wanted to focus on the mass effect of it talk about if everyone got the correct armor set because realistically i don't think there is a correct way i mean to be fair the n7 armor set and i actually didn't even say what armor set was what but for the hunters it's actually the vicarian set titans it's the n7 set and then for the warlocks the shadow broker set but yeah i don't think anyone was supposed to get anything like if i'm being realistic right now uh if they really was like okay which class is which for this then for sure hunters should have gotten the n7 set but then titans should have gotten krogan um specifically and then warlocks getting shadow breaker is actually pretty pretty in line so i it's actually just the hunter and titan that are like mm, if we want to be realistic n7 yeah i can see why people would want n7 for hunters but titans getting it i'm not like against because sure n7 is like a covert uh, group but you also have like vanguard people where they're fucking in the front lines doing shit like crazy shit so that's why in my head i don't see it crazy because that's how i play my shepherd but people definitely do play shepherd like a hunter so that's why i'm like this one was going to be problematic regardless of what who they were going to go for but that is pretty much my thoughts on the mass effect armor set let me know yours in the comments below because i really do want to talk about it because i really do like this set a lot uh all of them are really really cool to the point where i've already finished the hunter titan and warlock videos i just have to render them and actually end edit it render it and do my voiceover as well so like i still have i when i'm <laughs> when i say i finish it, i specifically mean i've already done the example sets and i'm gonna be honest with you guys the hunters is you know what I'm, i'll save it for when we actually get to that video because i want it to be a surprise i don't want to either bum or excite you guys right now you guys will have to wait for that but let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point remember hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to date with my current content because i do think my content is worth it other than that be safe i will see you guys later